Welcome to our channel, English with NS. Hi guys, hope you are fine. As you know, we are discussing causative verbs one by one. So, today, we will learn about the causative use of make. First of all, you need to be clear about what are causative verbs. I have already explained it in the previous video along with causative use of let. For that, open the link above. I'm also attaching the link in description for causative use of get as well. Now, coming towards the main topic, let's discuss use of make as a causative verb. Make is a causative verb that is commonly used to describe a situation where someone causes or forces someone else to do something. Here are some common uses of make as a causative verb. First one is make someone do something. It is used to force or persuade someone to do something they may not want to do. For example, my boss made me work overtime last night. The gym instructor made me practice for two hours straight. Next is to make something happen. Make is used to cause or bring about a specific event or outcome. For example, Studying hard will make you smarter. Using a map can make it easier to find your way around a new city. Make something happen faster. Make is also used to speed up or accelerate a process or event. For example, Using a computer can make data analysis much faster. Adding more workers will make the project finish sooner. Next is, make someone feel something. It is also used to cause someone to experience a particular emotion or feeling. For example, the sad news story made me feel sad and upset. The unexpected surprise made me feel delighted. Next is, make something into something. Make is also used to transform or convert something into a different form or state. For example, the chef will make the ingredients into a delicious meal. The artist will make the paint into a beautiful portrait. Next is, make something possible. It is used to enable or allow something to happen or be possible. For example, Practicing regularly will make it possible for you to become a better musician. Taking a cab will make it possible for you to arrive on time. These are all the uses of causative verb make in English. We excessively use causative verbs in our speaking or writing. Overall, learning causative verbs can improve your communication skills, help you understand and interpret language better, enhance your writing abilities, and even boost your career prospects. In our next video, we will discuss the next causative verb, have. Until then, goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, Please like, subscribe and also press the bell icon.
Plus, don't forget to comment and share.